another thing that happened, which was interesting, was uh, we found the Titanic. And that's a funny story, too. Uh, Bob Ballard, who was the one who found it, came to see me because I wanted him to go out and, and photograph the bottom of where the Thresher and the Scorpion had gone down. Now, we knew where Thresher was. We didn't know where Scorpion was. Uh, we, we thought we did. And of course, we didn't know where Titanic was. But the mission was to go out and photograph, take some samples from the bottom of where Thresher went down, then go out, find the Scorpion, and uh, take some samples and, and photograph the bottom. Uh, Bob Ballard, a, a wonderful young scientist, uh, of Woods Hole Engineering. He said, you know, all my life I wanted to find the Titanic. He said, could I, as part of this operation, have some time to look for the Titanic? Because he now had a lot of equipment that, that would help him do that. Uh, great photographic uh, equipment and uh, sleds <clears throat> with this equipment on board that he could operate from a surface ship. Uh, tethered, but he could uh, bring them down to the bottom and, and uh, surveil the bottom. Uh, I told him initially no. I said, this is a top secret operation. Uh, I said, if you find the scorpion, and we think you will, you will use our what we call SOSIS underwater detection capability. We did have a fix of where Scorpion was from the SOSIS, uh, uh, the SOSIS recordings made when Scorpion went down. We'd never gone and looked there. And it wasn't the greatest fix, but it was a pretty, pretty good location of it. And my point was, if we go find the Scorpion and uh, the Soviets find that out, then they'll know that we've got something like SOSIS out around the, the, the Atlantic, an ability to detect uh, noises uh, from submarines in, in, in the entire Atlantic Ocean. That's and, quite, quite a capability. And we had been tracking Soviet submarines for years without them knowing because yeah. of our SOSIS arrays. That's right. So uh, then he said, no, you know, Admiral, we, I, we'll, keep, we'll keep whatever we do quiet and we can do it. And, Come on, help, let me do it. Finally, I said to him, uh, I got tired of it. I said, look, I don't, you're going to do this job for me for this amount of money and this amount of time. And uh, if you want to look for the Titanic, okay, but you're not getting anything extra for it. And uh, kind of get out of here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And I didn't think he could find the Titanic. And, uh, and, and Ballard, as I say, is a wonderful guy. Of course, he, I did think that, hey, if we get caught by the Soviets looking for Scorpion, uh, I can always use the Titanic as a story of uh, why we're out there and uh, as a backup kind of thing. Uh, well, it took about a year to get ready to go, and then he found he went out and, and visited the Thresher, and that went very well. Uh, and then uh, one of the things he said he found uh, with the well, then he went on to find the Scorpion, and uh, and also photograph and, and do testing at that site. He said, but one of the things he found in that was that there was a trail uh, that leads to the sunken ship. And he said he saw the same thing on the thresher. So when the ship is going down, all the heavy pieces sink faster than the lighter pieces, which are affected by the current. And you end up with a trail that goes along with the current. And he said, once I figured that out, then I figured, well, we, you know, 
we, he had been looking for Titanic under a French contract, but they were looking for the ship itself. He, he went out <clears throat> to look for Titanic, looking for this tail. And he only had two weeks left in his contract. And uh, I'm in my office and they come in and they say, uh, Bob Ballard's on the Marine telephone, he wants to talk with you. So I get on and he said, uh, I found it. And uh, it's been a couple of years we were working this thing and it was the number one thing in my mind. Uh, I said, you found what? He said, well, I can't tell you over the phone, but uh, they uh, want you to meet us in Portsmouth. When we come in, we're going to make an, an announcement uh, of uh, the finding. And uh, hung up, and I thought, oh boy, we found the Titanic. Must have, man, that must be it. So I went up to see Jim Watkins, uh, Admiral Watkins, and I said, I've got good news for you. We found the Titanic. He said, that's great. I said, but I've got some bad news. I said, we've never authorized this operation in any way, shape, or form. We've never funded it. We've never told the intelligence subcommittees of the Congress. And normally, you know, we did. We kept them pretty much informed. Something like that we would have told them all about beforehand. I said, this is just going to come out as a bolt out of the blue. I don't know what's going to happen. He said, well, you better go tell the secretary. So I went in to see John Layman's, and, and uh, I said, I've got good news. Uh, <clears throat> we found the Titanic. Well, he jumped two feet in the air. He said, that's wonderful. That's marvelous. And I said, on top of that, Mr. Secretary, they want you to go to Portsmouth to meet them when they come in. Oh, well, he, you know, the wonderful politician he was, he, said, of course, said, absolutely, I'll be happy to do it. No problem. And then I got out of there. <laughs> before <laughs> before somebody could ask me, well, what were you doing looking for the Titanic? <laughs> uh, this was a, a, held that way, classified, the way it was described, that Ballard found it until the 90s. And then it was released. And National Geographic made a, a, a pretty nice film on it. I don't know if you've seen it. It's uh, The name of it is... Uh, Titanic, the final secret, and I was in it, and uh, we went through the whole thing of how we went around uh, locating it and uh, carrying out the operation. 